Paulson here with My Pastor's Wife Designs and today I thought it would be fun to show you how to create this fun little card using our hand-delivered uh, stamp set. It is a host stamp set that you can get when you have a qualifying party or $150 in sales or an order if you want to combine an order with another friend so that you can um, order this set I would highly recommend it it is quickly becoming one of my favorites and it's just a really fun stamp set to play with so with that being said um, we are going to go ahead and create this card the items or the products that you are going to be needing for this card are just a few again the uh, hand delivered stamp set the uh, pineapple punch uh, ink pad and then a black ink pad I'm going to use stays on today you could also use memento stays on was on the top of the pile and then some blends stamp and blend pens and I have a few out here I have got um, my light old olive and then dark old olive and then I have the dark pineapple uh, punch and then I have the light flirty flamingo and I have um, the light pink pirouette ivory and dark petal pink those are the colors that we're going to be using for some of our coloring I'm going to set those aside for now and we're going to go ahead and get started our first uh, thing that we're going to stamp is our image so that it has a few minutes to dry and it is on a piece of one and three quarter by four inch whisper white I use the thick it's just my favorite I prefer it so let's go ahead and um, get started here Now you're going to see that we have a lot of different choices for her skirt fill in and stuff. So first is what I want is just her legs and then the wedding cake. I want to pull out the word congratulations as well because we're going to be stamping with that. And then the skirt with the flowers and the uh, leaves. So I've got those out. I'm going to set those aside and out of my way and go ahead and start my stamping I'm going to mount this on my clear block and I've got my stays on out the reason I use stays on is because it is a water a water resistant type of ink and so when we do our blending with our pens we're not going to have the problems of um, it bleeding so I'm gonna get my handy dandy um, pad here so that we don't have a problem with the Getting a good image. I'm going to just push this down, give it a press for a minute, let the paper pull the ink off the page. We have a nice image there. And then I want to do the same with my um, next we're going to ink up the um, cake and line it up. I love this because you can line it right up with the skirt. Give it a press. Let it just sit there for a second and pull all the ink off the stamp. I've got a nice image there and you can see that it's lined right up with her skirt. And then I will be using my pineapple punch because I don't want the skirt to be I don't want the black images on the skirt so I will be using the pineapple punch again ink up my stamp real well and line it up over my skirt and give it a press so I've got my image of my flowers and stuff on that skirt go ahead and get these closed up because dry out if we don't oh no let's go ahead and keep the yellow out for a moment because we're going to do a little more stamping with that while this dries so we want to pull out our um, congratulations stamp and we are going to stamp our sentiment 
onto this strip of paper. It's three quarters of an inch by two and one quarter inch. And we're going to use the pineapple punch. Again, inking that up nicely and just give it a press down here. I'm going to go towards the side a little bit so I can make that a pennant. So we've got our congratulations. Now, get your card stock. This is eight and a half by 11, cut at five and a half, and score it at four and a quarter. And then I wanna go ahead and fold it. And I will use my um, bone folder to get a nice crease. I'm gonna get that out of my way because I think we're gonna be okay. And again, with the congratulations, and we want to just randomly stamp, but a well, yeah, randomly, but at a diagonal on our card. And it's just kind of creating a nice little background for our card stock. And then you can fill in anywhere that you're not happy with maybe where you stamped. That's the beauty of random stamping. You fill in whatever you're not thrilled with. And actually, I'm pretty okay with that, so I'm going to stop there, set this aside, and now we want to do a little bit of coloring on our, um, fill in your flowers however you want, just like I mentioned a few seconds ago, and and use whatever color of blenders you want. If you haven't got the blender pens, I'm telling you, you're missing out on just some fun. And I love how they go on and they don't um, leave lines. Kind of like what happens, you know, when you use regular markers, you'll get different lines. And with the blends, you just don't, which is really nice. And then I'm going to use a lighter one. I decided to change that up. I'm going to use a lighter center just because I can. And also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and give her some yellow shoes just to kind of go with everything that we're doing here and also simplify it. I mean, you can do whatever you want, obviously. And then on the light olive for the leaves. And for the sake of time, we'll come up here and do these leaves as well. I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to do a f different ones because I want some different um, depth and the by, give, by using different blenders, we'll get a little bit of different depth of color. Of course, if you're in a hurry and you need to make the card quickly, I would recommend having a bunch of these stamped up, and then you can just make your cards, um, you know, throw them together as you need them. They'll already be uh, colored, um, and then you can just adhere them as you need them, which is also kind of nice. Oh, I'm going to make the tray... And then we have uh, several different colors of the blender pens for um, doing skin tones. And I love that because they're anywhere from really light to dark, which is awesome. So it seems more realistic. And I'm going to use the uh, ivory for the flesh on mine. And also I want to point out on here, you have a fine tip and a brush tip. And that's always kind of handy for when you're trying to see what you're doing and not having to take the... Uh, it caps off both sides just to find out which side you need. So I'm going to go ahead and just come in and color her legs with the brush. And see what I mean by how it blends in and you don't really have any really obvious marker lines. I'll use the tip for the fingers so that, that I have more control over where it's going. Then I'm going to come back in with the um, petal pink. And I just want to kind of go up at the, under the dress to get a little bit of shadow. And then down the side of her leg just for a little bit of difference and darkness. And then I'll do that on the, this one too because highlight is always going to hit on the same side. Then we'll come in and color our flowers with some different colors. Again, do your cake based on, you know, what what the theme is or just what you like. Um, 
I'm doing pink because that was the color of the cake for the wedding that um, this card is going to be given. All right, and there is our girl holding the cake. Okay, now we're ready for assembly, and we're going to get our pieces. I've got a piece of old olive, and it is, uh, just let me double check, two inches by four and a quarter inches, and we are going to layer our um, stamped piece onto that using snail. lines up on three sides nicely it'll fit that third side just as nicely or fourth side I guess all right so we've got that there and I'm going to place this on my card on the side about I want to come down so that it's kind of even from my bottom corner and my side. So you see I've got kind of an even place. Then I want to take, and I've got this punch, it's a kind of a hexagon, and I just want to punch my end of my um, word thing, um, my, make a pen, my sentiment, and make a pennant out of it. My words are getting away from me today. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this smaller piece of old olive that we're going to layer onto it. And slide it in, give it a snip, and now I have a, my pennant, which is exactly how I wanted it. And go ahead and just line that up on there, and there's our little pennant. And then a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals to pop that off the page just a little tiny bit. And we're going to line it up about right like that. Now you can add some center pieces to your card. You can add a, a sheet of white like I, I did that on this one. I put in um, a sheet of white and then my sentiment so that it's readable, which I think is really important. But there you go. There is your card using our um, Hand It Delivered post set, and I really hope you enjoyed this. This is a super fun set to um, use, and it's very versatile. Thank you for joining me.